डियर चिल्ड्रेन टूडे वी विल डू एक्सरसाइज फाइव पॉइंट फोर ऑफ यूनिट फाइव दैट इज कॉमन फ्रैक्शन एंड हेयर इन दिस एक्सरसाइज वी विल डू दि सम्स रिलेटेड टू एडिशन एंड सब्ट्रैक्शन ऑफ फ्रैक्शन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट एस डू द क्वेश्चन दैट इज एड द फॉलोइंग नाउ हेयर इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी हैव टू एड द गिवन फ्रैक्शन एंड वी विल सी दैट इन सम ऑफ द पार्ट्स वी विल सी द लाइक फ्रैक्शन दैट वी हैव टू एड एंड इन सम ऑफ द पार्ट्स वी हैव टू एड द यूनिट फ्रैक्शन that is with different denominators so let us see how we can do these sums so the first sum is 1 by 10 plus 3 by 10 plus 8 by 10 now here all the fractions are having same denominators so these are like fractions so we'll take the common denominator that is 10 and then we will add all the numerators that is 1 plus 3 plus 8 now let us add 1 plus 3 4 and 4 plus 8 is 12 that is 12 by 10 now 12 by 10 is not in its lowest terms it has a common factor other than 1 so we have to reduce it now let us see how we can reduce it Two six are twelve and two fives are ten. So the answer is six by five. Now we have to see whether this given fraction is a proper fraction or an improper fraction. If it is proper fraction, the answer will be as it is. But here in this case, it is an improper fraction. So we need to divide it. Means six. We have to divide by five. So five ones are five. The answer is. One means the remainder is one. So we have to write the answer of an improper fraction in mixed numbers. So denominator will be as it is, uh, and um, quotient will be written here, and remainder will be written as the numerator. So this is how we have to write the answer in mixed numbers if the answer is in improper fractions. Now the next part: five by twelve plus four by twelve plus one by twelve. Again, the denominators are same, so these are like fractions. So we'll take the common denominator, and then we will add all the numerators. So five plus four nine plus one is ten. So it is ten by twelve. Now further, this fraction can be reduced in its lowest terms. So let's see: two fives are ten, and two six are twelve. So five by six. Now we have to see whether it is a proper fraction or an improper fraction. So it is a proper fraction because the numerator is smaller than the denominator so the answer will be as it is now let us see the next part part number 3 7 by 15 plus 8 by 15 plus 11 by 15 plus 10 by 15 now all the denominators are same so all these are like fractions so we have to take the common denominator that is 15 and we have to add all the numerators so 7 plus 8 15 15 plus 11 is 26 and 26 plus 10 is 36 by 15 now we can further reduce it to the lowest terms so 3 fives are 15 3 ones are 3 and 3 twos are 6 so 12 by 5 now we have to see whether it is a proper or an improper fraction so it is an improper fraction so we have to divide it and then we have to write the answer in mixed numbers so 5 twos are 10 the remainder is 2 so how we can write the answer the denominator will be as it is quotient will be written here and remainder will be written here as the numerator now the next is question number 4 1 by 3 plus 1 by 6 again the denominators are different so what is the rule that we have to apply if the denominators are different means these are unit fractions and these are with different denominators so we have to take lcm of denominators so lcm of 3 And six is equals to. So let us take the LCM of three and six. So we'll take the smallest prime number because it can divide six. So two threes are six. Now we'll take three. Three ones are three, and three ones are three. Now we will add these prime numbers. Two into three is equals to six. So LCM of three and six is six. Now we have to make the denominators of these fractions equal to the LCM that is six. So let us take the first fraction. Fraction one by three. So we have to multiply the denominator by two to make it six. So numerator will also get multiplied by the same number. So it will be two by six. Now let us take the second one. So this fraction is already having the denominator equal to six. So we will not convert it. Now we have to add. 
these two fractions so 2 by 6 plus 1 by 6 now we can see that we have converted them to like fractions both the denominators are same so we'll take the common denominator and add both the numerators so 3 by 6 will be the answer but we have to see that whether we can convert it to the lowest terms or it is already in the lowest terms so yes it can be converted 3 ones are 3 3 twos are 6 so 1 by 2 is the final answer so first of all we have to see uh, whether it is in lowest terms or we have to convert it to the lowest terms or we have to reduce it to the lowest terms so after that we have to see whether it is a proper fraction or an improper fraction if it is proper fraction leave it as it is if it is improper divide it and write the answer in mixed numbers let us take the next sum, sum number 5, 1 by 7 plus 1 by 21. Again, the denominators are different, so we need to take LCM. So, let us take LCM of 7 and 21. So, let us take the LCM. So, we cannot take the smallest prime number that is 2 but we can take 3 7 will be as it is and 3 7s are 21 now we'll take 7 7 ones are 7 7 ones are 7 now let us multiply these prime numbers to get the lcm 3 into 7 is equals to 21 so the lcm is 21 so first of all we need to take lcm then we need to uh, make the denominators equal to the lcm okay so let us take 1 by 1 first is 1 by 7 so we have to multiply the denominator by 3 to make it 21 so numerator will also get multiplied by the same number so 3 by 21 is the first fraction now let us take the second one now in the second fraction the denominator is already equal to 21 is already 21 so we need not to do anything now let us add these two fractions so 3 by 21 plus 1 by 21 now these are like fractions we have converted them to like fractions now the denominators are same so let us take the common denominator and let us add the numerators so it is 4 by 21 now we have to see that whether it is in its lowest terms or not yes it is in its lowest terms now we have to see whether it is a proper fraction or an improper fraction so yes it's a proper fraction so 4 by 21 will be the answer now let us see the next sum, sum number 6, 1 by 4 plus 1 by 6, the denominators are again different. So let us take LCM of the denominators, LCM of 4 and 6. Now let us here take the LCM, both are even numbers. So we can take the smallest prime number, 2 twos are 4, 2 threes are 6. Now let us take 2, 2 ones are 2, 3 will be as it is, now we will take 3. 3 ones are 3. Now let us multiply these prime numbers to get the LCM. 2 twos are 4, 4 threes are 12. So the LCM is 12. Now let us make these denominators of the given fractions equal to 12. So first of all we will take 4. So we have to multiply 4 by 3 to make it 12. So numerator will also be multiplied by the same number. So we will have 3 by 12. Now let us take the second one that is 1 by 6. Now we will multiply the denominator by 2 to make it 12. And the numerator will also be multiplied by 2. 2 so we'll have 2 by 12 now we have to add these two fractions so 3 by 12 plus 2 by 12 now both have become like fractions the denominators are same so let us take the common denominator and add the numerators so we have 5 by 12 now it is already in its lowest terms and it is a proper fraction so 5 by 12 will be the answer now let us take the next part that is part number 8 1 by 4 plus 1 by 8 1 plus 1 by 12 all the denominators are different so we need to take LCM so LCM of 4 8 and 12 is equal to let us see what is the LCM 4 8 and 12 all are even numbers so let us take 2 the smallest prime number 2 2's are 4 2 4's are 8 and 2 6 are 12 again 2 2 1's are 2 2 2's are 4 and 2 3's are 6 one more time we'll take 2 1 2 1's are 2 and 3 will be as it is now we'll take 3 1 1 and 3 1's are 3 now we'll multiply all these prime numbers 2 2 
टू एंड थ्री सो टू टू जार फोर फोर टू जार एट एंड एट थ्री जार ट्वेंटी फोर इज द एल सी एम नाउ वी हैव गॉट द एल सी एम सो वील मेक द डिनोमिनेटर्स इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी फोर सो लेट एस टेक द फर्स्ट वन वन बाय फोर नाउ वी हैव टू मल्टीप्लाई द डिनोमिनेटर बाय सिक्स टू मेक इट ट्वेंटी फोर सो न्यूमिनेटर विल ऑल्सो बी मल्टीप्लाइड बाय सिक्स सो वील हैव सिक्स बाय ट्वेंटी फोर नाउ लेट एस टेक द सेकेंड वन दैट इज वन बाय एट सो वी हैव टू मल्टीप्लाई द डिनोमिनेटर एट बाय थ्री टू मेक इट ट्वेंटी फोर सो न्यूमिनेटर विल ऑल्सो बी मल्टीप्लाइड बाय थ्री सो वी हैव थ्री बाय ट्वेंटी फोर नाउ लेट एस टेक द थर्ड वन दैट इज वन बाय ट्वेल्व ओके सो वन बाय ट्वेल्व विल मल्टीप्लाई ट्वेल्व बाय टू to make it 24 so the numerator will also be multiplied by 2 so we have 2 by 24 now we will add all these three fractions that is 6 by 24 plus 3 by 24 plus 2 by 24 now all these are like fractions we have converted them to like fractions all the denominators are same so we'll take common denominator and we will add all the numerators so we will get 6 plus 3 9 9 plus 2 11 by 24 and this fraction is already in its lowest terms and moreover it is an it is a proper fraction not an improper fraction so our answer will be 11 by 24 Now let us do the next part, part number nine. One by three plus one by five plus one by four. Again, all the denominators are different, and this is the case of unit fractions with different denominators. So we have to take LCM. So LCM of three, five, and four is equal to. So let us take the LCM and see three. Five and four. First of all, we'll take the smallest prime number because it can divide four. So three and five will remain as it is, and two twos are four. Again, we'll take two. Three and five will remain as it is, and two ones are two. Now we'll take the next prime number that is three. Three ones are three. Five will remain as it is, and one also. Now we'll take five. So one, five ones are five, and one. Now we will multiply all these prime numbers to get the LCM. Two into two into three into five. So two twos are four, four threes are twelve, and twelve fives are sixty. Okay. Now we have to uh, make all the denominators equal to sixty. Now let us see. First of all, we'll take one by three. Now we have to multiply the denominator three by which number? By twenty because twenty threes are sixty. So numerator will also get multiplied by the same number. So we'll get twenty by sixty. Now let us take the second one, one by five. Now we have to multiply five by twelve. to make it 60 so the numerator will also be multiplied by 12 now in case if you don't know by which number you have to multiply the given uh, denominator to make it equal to the lcm what you can do you can suppose in this case we have lcm 60 so if we take 1 by 5 so we can divide it by 5 Five ones are five, remainder one and zero, and five twos are ten. So we can see we have got twelve. It means you can divide the LCM by the denominator, and you can come to know that by which number you have to multiply the given denominator. Fine. If the numbers are bigger, for smaller numbers it's very easier. But if the numbers are bigger, then you can divide the LCM by the denominator. So we have got twelve by sixty. Now the third one, one by four. Now we have to see by which number we'll multiply four to get sixty. So what you can do, you can just divide sixty by four. Four ones are four. Here we have two and zero. Four fives are twenty. So we can easily come to know that we have to multiply four by five because fifteen fours are is sixty, or you can say four fifteens are is also sixty. So numerator will also be multiplied by the same number. So we have. Fifteen by sixty. Now we have to add all these three fractions. That is, twenty by sixty plus twelve by sixty plus fifteen by sixty. Now all these have now become like fractions. So now we can take common denominator because denominators are same in case of like fractions, and we have to add the numerators. So how we can do that? Twenty 
प्लस ट्वेल्व इज थर्टी टू एंड थर्टी टू प्लस फिफ्टीन इज फोर्टी सेवन सो द न्यूमिनेटर इज फोर्टी सेवन एंड डिनोमिनेटर इज सिक्सटी सो वी हैव टू सी दैट कैन वी रिड्यूज इट फर्दर टू इट्स लोएस्ट टर्म्स सो नो वी कैन नॉट रिड्यूज सो नेक्स्ट थिंग इज is it a proper or an improper fraction so it's a proper fraction so 47 by 60 will be the